Neopets Quickie with Mr. Neoguide. This is Fresh Start Pet Training through the Neopian Schools. Now, there are three schools to choose from on Neopets depending on your pet's level and how you want to train your pet. The first school is the Swashbuckling Academy over on Croc Island. This trains pets from level 1 to 40 and accepts the payment of doubloons. Doubloons are cheaper than code stones because they are quite often found through dailies. However, the downside to this school is that it takes much longer to train your pets up per level and stat, and you can only train your pet stats two times your pet's current level. The second school is the Mystery Island Academy on Mystery Island and trains pets from level 1 to 250 through code stones. Code stones are a rarer item, so they're a little bit more expensive, but the training is much faster, and there's an additional formula for the Mystery Island. You can train your pet's HP to three times its current level, as compared to only two times your pet's current level. So there's a nice little formula that you can do to take the most advantage of this. That is, you can train your pet to the maximum bracket, so the first bracket would be level 20, then you can train your strength and defense to 40, and then your HP to 60 before you move on to the next bracket. Then it would be 40, 80, 80, 120, and so on. Now, my tip for this is don't cap your pet out on the bracket because training schools sometimes grant you a bonus of additional stats or levels up to one to four bonus points, which could accidentally put you over to the next bracket. So I generally stop and train my pet three times the HP, one to two levels before capping out, just in case I go over. This gives me the most flexibility to work with before having to spend extra points on training materials. Now, how to train your pet. First, you choose a school, scroll down to the bottom on the courses page, select what course you would like to train your pet in, strength, defense, agility, endurance, which is HP, and level. Then choose your pet, pay the cost, and your pet will start training, and you just have to complete the course when it's done. Strength, defense, endurance, and level are going to be the main stats that you want to train your pet for Battle Dome. Battle Dome is a turn-by-turn -turn experience, so agility doesn't affect your pet's overall performance in battle. Agility is more of a stat later on for nice items that you may want to use. If you have no intention of using these items, agility is more of just a pretty stat for you. So you don't really need to use it. Now, once you hit level 250, you're going to want to go to the next step. So you go to explore, go to the Mystery Island, and down on the bottom of the volcano, there's a secret door that you click. And this is where you train pets above level 250. You train pets here with the red code stones, which you can get through the Battle Dome beta prizes or by going to the volcano and exchanging regular code stones for red code stones. Now, this is farther on in the game once you get your pet up to 250, so it's not something you have to worry about right away. That's your new pets quickie for Battle Dome training. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a Neo Bell to Mr. Neo Guide. Have a nice day. Ciao.